welcome back to Tea Time with Aloha and Coco, guys. I'm Vicky, if you're around here. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to be part of the Tea Time family. So today we are going to be doing a little Harry Potter craft. If you don't remember, I took you guys to Michael's about two weeks ago and we spotted some pretty cool plants that were on sale. So using that, we're going to be creating some amazing Harry Potter magic. So without further delay, let's jump into the video. Let me show you the things that I had to pick up so that I can make this possible. And uh, together with Aloha and Coco, we're going to be creating our very own mandrakes. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut off any tags. And the beauty of these little plants is it already looks like it has the shape of a mandrake. So it's very little work what we really have to do here, but I'm really excited to see the turnout. So we're just going to um, cut this off and then we're gonna start by fluffing the little leaves. And um, this rock is gonna serve as an excellent base. So let's open up the dry clay mold cut this tag off and start molding the rock to look like a mandrake. Okay, so the first thing are the little um, plants that we found over at Michael's. These were originally $7.99, but as you saw, they had a huge discount, so it came up to just a few dollars. Um, so I picked this particular plant up. They did have a whole bunch of different ones mm -hmm. with the different um, kind of leaves towards the top, mm -hmm. but this one I felt like resembled the mandrakes so well. But I stuck with that. Then we have these. I love buying these to add little eyes to toys when we make them. It is like a little bead. As you can see, they're super cute. They're rounded. They're little black eyes. So I just picked up a pack of these from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I've had them forever. They are usually a pack of like 24 something for just a few dollars. And they also bring a little backing so you can stick it through fabric and then seal it in the back, almost like an earring. So that's what I got there. I have some glue sticks, super important to have glue sticks for this project. Then I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up this moss. I also picked this up from the Dollar Tree, these little tiny um, plastic planters. You can get the ceramic ones, but because I'm gonna be doing this project with the girls, I did not want it to be anything that could be dangerous. Then, uh, oh, and it comes like in a pack of, I think it's 12, 12 for $1.25. Then I picked up the Air Dry Model Magic Clay in brown. You can get this at a craft store. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I picked up some paint just to add dimension, um, to add like um, to make it look like it's te textured. If I feel that this clay dries on and it looks too light, we can add some like dimension with paint. And to brush it on, we're gonna have some Q-tips. I picked up this glue gun from Michaels. It was $7 and it brings a little stand. And I got this glue gun mat from the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And this little cutting board is great for kids. If you're gonna do an activity like this where they have to paint or cut something, um, I picked this up from the Dollar Tree. So without further delay, let's start. So Aloha is doing a great job. Aloha is literally getting the pieces of clay and flattening it out. And it really helps that the actual, um, the little soil ball is textured and hard so it goes into all the crevices. I'm doing the same thing over here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take piece by piece flatten it out. I don't want to cover any of the roots because those are going to be the mandrake's hands and feet. So just keep keep like pressing it on. Like do this. Exactly. Keep pressing it on, rubbing it on, like rolling it all over so that you get the desired thickness but also the desired um, coverage. So keep going until the whole little soil ball is completely wrapped. So now we're just adding extra I want to make mine a little bit thicker so when I insert the little eyes it has sufficient um, molding clay or yeah like model clay to hold on to so you can just keep adding layers Aloha is being very careful with how much she's distributing around the little mandrake she doesn't want to overdo it so she's taking her time very important that you go under the roots like she's doing so that it covers all of the black area so that you don't see two tones um, because as we already know the mandrake is brown 
So she's just carefully covering up all the area. We're waiting for Coco. Coco's playing with a toy. <laughs> so she'll be here soon. But there you go. That's what she's doing. So now I'm going to continue to add and kind of, you see how you have these creases here, like that, these lines, I'm gonna flatten it out because I want it to be like even. I want it to look just like Aloha's. It is all completely smooth. So let's keep working on it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these little eyes. You see how it has like the long stick? We're gonna chop it off so that it is flat. That way I can adhere it easier to the uh, air dry clay. And then after we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and add some moss just around it to give it texture. Okay guys, so my husband goes all in on any challenge. This is his mandrake. He just kept layering and layering and layering to cover the eyes so it looks like he has got like the little sockets. He added um, different colors inside of the mouth to add like dimension. Um, I went ahead and I made mine like a cutesy one and I added some moss. Aloha's is so cute. Look at Aloha's and then Coco already added hers into the pot. But Coco is a little chubby guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait to put them uh, all. I, I had a good feeling about that chubby guy. I had a good feeling about that one too. And Aloha, yours is so beautiful. Where is it? Let me see. Yours is so cute. Okay, so I'm finishing the fifth one. Um, I'm gonna play around with that one a little bit. I extended the eyes like two different places. I'll probably make a cute little mouth. I'm gonna add more clay up the little, um, the little, like the leaves. I'm, I'm cutting off leaves to, to add it because I saw my husband do it and it looks so good. So I'm gonna add clay up the little leaves and maybe add some texture to the face. And um, we didn't end up needing the paint, which is great. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let me finish this one and then I'm gonna put all of them together. We didn't even need the Q-tips. We didn't. I'm gonna add all of this together and see how they all look in little pots. Guys, so they're done. We have my husband's, we have mine, we have Coco's, we have Aloha's, and I made another one just for fun. So now we're going to add them to the pots. These are the pots. It comes in a pack of 12 from the Dollar Tree, as I mentioned before. We're gonna add some moss to the bottom. And um, I wanted to add moss so when you lift it up, sometimes the moss gets caught in the little feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and add moss to the base of all five pots. And then we're going to see if these mandrakes scream. Okay, so we ended up taking each of the pots and hot gluing a little bit of moss on the outside. Some have a little bit on the back. And then once we hot glued it and designed the moss on the actual pots, we inserted some moss on the inside to give it a little bit of weight. And then again, as I stated before, that way when we put the little mandrakes inside, when you pull them out, you have that effect of like the soil moss coming out tangled up with the actual um, mandrake. So it'll tie up to like its little feet and it'll give it a really cool plant effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert all the mandrakes here and let's see how they react. Okay guys, let's see if the magic worked. I said, get out. <laughs> so guys, now we're just gonna let our little mandrakes dry up because it is dry, uh, air dry clay. By tomorrow, they should be um, hard enough to like take out of the little uh, planter and have some more fun with. My intention is to hang all of these pots and all of these mandrakes from my roof right here. This is my desk. So you see I have a whole bunch of crafts lined up for you guys. Um, I want to go ahead and hang them from my roof and do a tea time with Aloha and Coco logo that I'm going to have you guys help me for. But I'm so excited that we did it. It looks so good. My little mandrakes. So guys, that is it. I'm so excited with the way the mandrakes turned out. I'm so incredibly happy. And I'm really happy that you guys joined us. Please don't forget to click like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Tea Time with Aloha and Coco. And I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, stay magical.